Here I have my partially built BLV MGN Cube 3D printer. Now I bought this kit four years ago and just never finished building it and it's sat in my garage ever since collecting dust. So now that we're in 2024, the question is, is it still worth it for me to continue building it? Because here's the reality. In the last four years, there's been a lot of improvement. Bamboo Labs came out with their printer, Creality with the K1, Prusa with the XL, multiple Voron printers became popular, and these are all packed with features. They are fast, they are compact, coming at lower prices. So is this still worth it for me to continue working on the BLV MGN Cube? Now there are multiple things I like about this printer, and I think that Ben Levi did a great job at designing this printer. It is compact, it has a simple design, um, there's lots of open space for a lot of access. Uh, the other thing that I really like is the belts are hidden. They're not just sticking up above the printer extrusions. I also like that it has linear rails instead of just rods. Um, also, it's a cube, so it's pretty easy to enclose this printer. Uh, the kit that I bought came with quality parts. Um, and just overall, this design is easy to modify and upgrade in the future. And now that we looked at the things that I like about this printer design, let's look at a few things that I don't like about it. First, the X carriage is far from where the nozzle tip will be. And it's more of a concern for vibration and ghosting in the parts. Now I understand that this is probably the most convenient spot for the X carriage based on where the rest of the components are, but it just leaves me wishing that it was closer to the nozzle so that it could grab the nozzle much more rigidly. Now the other thing I kind of don't like about this design is that the x-axis crossbar is bulky because of the aluminum extrusion. And the extrusion kind of gets in the way and it's hard to see the nozzle tip, it's hard to access it. Um, plus there's extra weight and it just because things are already more bulky it's hard to add upgrades to the extruder in the future. Now the third thing I don't like about this design is the bed mounting. And probably this is the thing I don't like about it the most. Here I'm pressing on the bed with my fingers on opposite sides and you can see that the bed is wobbling quite a bit. And this is because the Z linear rails are aligned to the X axis. And this makes the bed prone to wobble. Um, and the other thing I kind of don't like is that the, there's a large gap that's filled with these plastic parts between the rail and the bed mounting extrusions. And so this is the point where there's the most stress and then there's also these plastic parts that are the most prone to bending. So you kind of lose the benefit of having the rails on the z-axis just with this design. So if I would say if there was one thing I really didn't like about this design, this would be it. Now the last three things are pretty minor for me. One is I kind of don't like that the belts are on both sides of the crossbar aluminum extrusion. Um, there's nothing wrong with that and it seems to work pretty well. But the thing is it, it just makes it harder to put in future upgrades into this printer because now you have the belts on both sides and that's the area you have to avoid both sides now. So it's not a big deal but it's something I wish was a little different. Also, the belts are six millimeters wide, which is probably fine, but it might be an issue and they might not be stiff enough for a few projects I have in mind in the future. And the last thing I don't like about this printer design is these tension knobs, specifically that they are on the front of the printer. Now, I'm sure I'm gonna love using them, but I can already see myself bumping into them accidentally and loosening or tightening the belt and ruining my print and only finding out when it's too late. The ultimate question is, should I still continue building it or just move on to something else? Let me know in the comments below. So what I need is a solid frame, solid linear rails, and the ability to add upgrades along the way in the future. So I'll continue building out this printer and see where it goes. Share any of your experience with this printer in the comments below.